Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. So I have not made an outfits video, like a dedicated outfits video in quite a long time. And so today I am doing that. I just really wanted to put together some outfits for fall. I don't know how many I made. I just wanted to make as many as I could that made me feel inspired for fall fashion, especially because I've gotten a lot of really awesome pieces in the past couple of weeks from the thrift store that I've been wanting to like properly style within my style because a lot of them have been purchased from like mystery boxes or like themed thrift with me's and all that jazz. So let's get into the outfits. This first outfit is one of my favorites because number one, I just got these cowboy boots. And remember I said, I'm going to try and become a cowboy boot girly in 2023. And then number two, I just love this cake shirt. I really love the black and white contrasting to the pink color in the skirt and top. And then I have two gold necklaces to finish it off for a jacket because it is fall time. I was debating on either my pink quilted jacket or to try and balance the outfit adding my black leather blazer and I can't decide which one I like more so let me know in the comments down below. I did want to style some pieces multiple times just to show you know re-wearing is cool and stuff so I have that cake top again paired with my black skirt and jean vest. Because there is no overpowering colors or pattern I decided to add these tapestry heels to bring another element to the look and to me it's just all super cute. Since doing that Tumblr thrifting video, I very much am going through a Tumblr era again. So I swapped the cake top with this striped tee, some jade and docks, and a jean jacket. It's a classic look that really never goes out of style. And I also like that it is quite opposite from the first outfit that I had show. Wait, seriously, I have been wearing this Jonas Brothers t-shirt every day since I thrifted it and I have no shame, but I wanted to find a different way to style it since I've been just rocking it with jeans. So I took a lesson out of Matilda Jerf's book and styled it with some gray trousers. I do wish I had a matching gray blazer. I'm currently on the hunt for it, but my black leather blazer still does it justice. Taking those same gray trousers, I added my crew neck that I got. Honestly, I don't even remember where or when I thrifted this. Maybe it was in a mystery box, who knows? But I love the two different shades of gray together. Going back to pastels, I have this outfit, which I think if it was chilly out, then I would add my green pastel blazer with it. But currently this works perfect for the weather that I am in. And honestly, I love this darn sheer cardigan nighty thing that I thrifted at the Rose Bowl. It is such a nice addition to any outfit. I have this super crop top and then pink trousers under it. So you can still see them, but the cardigan really takes all of the attention. And I truly felt super happy in this outfit and I will be wearing this now 24 seven. This is the only outfit I'm feeling a little meh on. I really wanted to rock the Peter Pan collar because it's truly one of my favorite things, but I think it was too loose with the denim dress. So I did end up swapping it for a black turtleneck and kept the red boots. I love how each piece in this outfit has its own moment. And this is a great one for those cold days because every inch of my body is completely covered. Now taking that same black turtleneck, I put a similar dress on top, but it's the green corduroy one I thrifted recently and gosh I love this thing it is so comfy and since my eyes are green it really makes them pop as well I ended up swapping the red boots because it was just feeling a little bit too Christmassy so instead I went for some chunky black boots ever since I thrifted this cardigan I knew I wanted to put it with a white tank top I definitely could have left it unbuttoned but I just love the way it lays with one middle button attached and it's definitely a more simple outfit than some in this video, but it's super realistic when I'm wanting to be more casual. I did decide to swap out the docks for these tan boots to match the cardigan a bit more. And I think it does help it make it look then not as casual as 
how it looked with the dots. Although I then added this blue sweater to make it cozier and I think keeping the tan boots helped it seem more like a fit actually. And I just love the combo of the tan and blue together. Okay, I just had to include this sheep sweater that I thrifted in my last video because it's so cute. And of course I will be wearing it this fall. Like look at those little sheep. <laughs> this is a very me outfit, honestly. If you look back at any photos from the beginning of 2019, like I look exactly the same, especially now with my hair being so blonde. I decided to also style the overalls in a different way because I always get comments on how to style overalls and honestly, I don't have much advice because you can put them with anything. Uh, I have some inspo photos from Pinterest of cute overall outfits just to kind of help uh, with more inspiration, but I put this puff sleeve top under and then added these black shoes, which I low key look like a clown in them and I love it. <laughs> Of course, with it being fall, I had to whip out these velvet pants and I wanted to style them again in a very realistic way, which is just with a baby tee. But to add at least something exciting to the outfit, I put some cow print boots and then a leather blazer like I always do. I've been so excited to put this outfit together, which is hilarious because it's so simple, but there's something about a cropped waistcoat and jeans that just feels so nice. Just another classic look for fall that I definitely will be wearing. And I love having pieces like this waistcoat that yes, I could just put a t-shirt with this outfit, but having the waistcoat just upgrades it a bit. And then especially with the addition of the brown blazer, like it is so cute. So I started this off with pastels and we are now ending on dark colors with this black corduroy pant, maroon sweater vest and striped top. And this whole outfit is another great combo for fall, like nothing original, but it really made me feel like it was fall. Again, where I live, it's super sunny. So it honestly feels like May. So I have to get some fall feelings from my clothing, okay? I love mixing the sweater texture and the pants and then to add a pattern to quite a dark look, the stripes just complement the whole look perfectly. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which outfit was your favorite. Another reason why I wanted to do this video is because obviously my hair is a different color. So I kind of am like, wait, what goes with it? And it is very compromised and damaged. It's gonna be going through it for the next couple months. So please be nice to me. I can't do anything about it now. And yeah, as always, 99% of everything I showed in this video is thrifted. So if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new new video and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram which is Alex and Shine 83. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye!